welcome back to my channel let's smile to solve problems so today is the lecture 3 for the subject biology for engineers so what we will do today we will do a comparison between the bird flying and the aircraft we have already previously done on the comparison between the eye and the camera and before that we have done the introduction to the biology for engineers so without wasting more time let's start so the first thing is that points to be noted in this particular lecture so the first thing which will come to your mind for this topic is that how does birds able to fly that means how these birds are able to fly in this air or you can say in the atmosphere so the answer for this is that they are able to fly due to their structural characteristics. That means they have specific structures which push them or which enable them to fly in that atmosphere. So the first thing is their feathers. Feathers means if we bring a picture for this. So this is a board and this portion is the feathers. So the first structural characteristic for the birds to fly is the feathers. The second characteristic is the light and hollow bones. That means just the opposite of the human bone. So this is a bird bone. That means there are very large ear pockets which means that these bones are hollow and which make them light in weight. So this is the second structural characteristic for the boat which able them to fly. The third is the strong muscles. So as like they flap their wings or they move their wings and then they fly. That means their feathers help them to fly. So they need a lot of energy. So that means they need a very strong muscles and energy. That's why they need strong muscles because they always flap their wings and fly in this air right so this is a picture where they are showing the muscles of the boats and the fourth characteristics is the streamlined body now what is a streamlined body before that you should know what is the streamlined shape see the streamlined shape is this type of shape that means this portion is narrow and then it's become wide and again narrow. So a bird body is in a streamlined body. That means see, this portion is narrow, this portion is narrow, but this portion is a little wide according to both of them. So that means the fourth characteristics which make them able to fly is this streamlined body. So I hope you understood till this. So let's move on. So the next points to be noted are so what is this? See, this shape is known as airfoil. See, whenever this is the shape made by the wings, that means it is the bird's wings which makes the shape. What happens in this portion, that means this airfoil shape, above this shape, if I make an arrow, this portion is a little bit narrow, right? That means this area is narrow, respect to the area below this airfoil shape right so this portion makes the air speed up that means it speeds up the air as the area is narrow and squeezed that means if you see this portion of the area it is comparatively wide than this portion right so as this area is narrow and squeezed that's why here the air speeds up that means the air is inversely proportional to the area that means if the air speeds up the area is narrow and if the area is wide then the speed will slow down so this portion is just the opposite of the above portion so what does it do it speeds that means the speed of the air gets slows down as the area is wide so what does basically air do it is similar to a boat flowing in a river you will see that whenever it is wide the boat slows down that means the speed of the boat slows down because the water which is in the cross section is not 
so much but when it is narrow it is perfectly aligned and moreover it speeds up the boat because the area is there so similarly this ear foil shape that means the wings which the birds flap is in the form of this shape and due to that they can more that means they are more able to fly very speed at high speed you can say okay so now the next is that when air rushes past the wing of a boat or a plane it flows above and below the wings so what is the topic of today that we will do a comparison between a bird flying and an aircraft so if i bring a picture form of the statement what happens see this is an aeroplane or you can say a aircraft so what happens the air passes or the air rushes above their wings as well as below their wings similarly for the bird also the air will rush above the wings as well as below the wings so this point you need to be noted that means both of them have similar characteristic that means the bird also have the similar characteristics and the aircraft also that means the air will pass above and below of their wings now your next thing is this picture now what is this picture see a huge thing is there we have done the air foil shape and here we will know what are the things which is get related to the air foil shape so the first thing is that it says that the top of the wing is rounded whereas that of the lower part is relatively straight that means you can see in the picture that this portion that means the upper portion of the wing is comparatively rounded whereas the down portion is not so rounded compared to the upper portion so both for the aircraft as well as for the bird flying the upper portion is rounded but the lower portion is straight so this is the second characteristic which is similar in both of them Now the next point is that the air flowing on the top of the wing has to travel a greater distance compared to the air flowing below the wing. As a result, the air flowing at the top of the wing flows faster, creating a region of low pressure. that means as you can see the above portion is rounded that means the air as the air is flowing in this direction what happens it need to cross this round section and then it moves while the lower portion is comparatively straight so what happens it need it need to cross a less area that why that means as it need to travel a greater distance in the above portion so in the above there is a reduce in the air pressure whereas in the lower portion the air pressure is constant similarly it's for the aircraft also so this is the third point of the similarity similarity between the boat and the aircraft the fourth is the aircraft air flowing below the wing creates a region of high pressure so as i told in this portion that means below the wing as it is a constant air pressure that means as the air is moving a uh, low that means it's moving a very small area so here the air is pressure or you can say a region of high pressure is created okay the fifth point is that the difference of pressure that means the difference which is the reduced air pressure and the constant air pressure or you can say the high air pressure which has been created uplifts both the boat as well as the aircraft that means it pushes the boat to fly similarly it pushes the aircraft to fly see as we we walk we walk in a road right so what happens there is a friction between the road and a toe so what we do we push the road back so we can move forward similarly board and the aircraft what they do the difference in the pressure pushes them to move forward okay so this is the fifth point 
or you can say the similarities between the aircraft and the boat okay let's move on to the next now what happens here it's the important terminology for boat flying and the aircraft so you need to know some terminology which are related to the boat flying and the aircraft so the first terminology is lift that means the force that pushes the boat or the plane upward created by the pressure difference of air flowing at different speeds air speeding past a board wing causes the lift see lift basically means that the force that pushes the board that means we need to push the board then only it can fly or it can move upward right so for moving upward we need this force that means we need the lift that means the, at the last point of the similarity was the pressure difference so for the lift we need that pressure difference and we need it at very different speed so the speed which is passed by the board or the plane causes them to lift upward okay the second terminology is the drag the force of the air pressing against the body of the boat or surface of the plane slowing them down see they are speeding up what they do when they get a lift that means they start moving upward they gain some speed but they also need to slow down to stop somewhere right to reach the destination so at that point we need the force that means the drag force okay the third is the thrust the force that moves the boat or the plane forward that means this time what happens in the lift it moves upward in the drag it slows down but in the thrust what happens this force makes them move forward okay and the last is the propulsion this is you can see related to the thrust that means it is the push or the drive to move an object forward a propulsion system mechanizes the thrust that means as like we are pushing the road and we are moving forward that means the push given by the shoe or the toe to the road is the propulsion so similarly for the thrust that means the board or the plane to move forward will need that propulsion that means the push is needed so if we bring all the terminologies in a picturized form so it will be like this so here is the board's wing which we have already seen so this portion as we know that lift means upward so the arrow is in the upward direction right so lift is the upward similarly down also the lift is in the upward form now as the drag means to slow down so as we need to slow down we need to what to do we need to give the air pressure against the body so this is the air pressure so we will give it against the body and the thrust will move them in the forward direction okay so this is the body weight direction this is the gravity direction fine now why we did all this terminologies so we can make a comparison between the aircraft and the boat flying so let's begin so we will first see the function the part of the aeroplane which will make the difference with the part of the boat so the first function is our obviously lift so the part of the aeroplane one is the propellers some of the have the propellers and some have the air foil so this part will make it lift that means the force will be exerted and it will move upward but for the board is the muscle so this is the propellers and this is the wings which makes a ear foil shape so i have given a picture form so you get a good concept on what are propellers and what is the ear foil shape and the muscle's picture is similar to this to the picture which we have already seen the next function is the 
drag that means this will slow down so streamline shift so we have already seen the streamline shape which is this one so you can see this board is in a streamline shape so the board needs the streamline shape as well as they also need light and hollow bones obviously aeroplane doesn't have bones or aircraft doesn't have bones but the board needs the light and the hollow bones to fly and a streamlined body to make them drag that means to make them slow down and the aeroplane only needs the streamlined shape so this is the hollow or the light bone picture okay the third function is your thrust that means which will move forward that means for aeroplane it's the movement of aeroplane that means it will either move to right left above so it depends on the movement of the aeroplane that means the thrust and it also depends on the wings of engine so this is the engine that means the engine is below attached with the wings so these are the two things which are responsible for the thrust and the board is for the board part is the flapping of the wings so how do they do these are the flapping of the wings so they flap the wings to thrust so that they move forward so this is the part which is responsible the fourth function is the control that means they need to see they are moving forward they are moving backward or they are slowing down so they need to control all the systems right as like we have brain to control our emotions to uh, to calculate so we need a control in our brain so we meditate for controlling similarly what they do for aeroplane the part for controlling is their wings that means the portion of this portion these wings help them to control but for the birds it is the wings as well as their tail so this is the portion of the tail they also need tail as well as the wings and the fifth and the last function is your propulsion that means the push or the drive to make the thrust so the part of the aeroplane is the engine so this is the portion which we have already seen in the thrust right so this engine is made for the propulsion that means the push similarly for the part of the board is the muscles so this is the muscles which they need so they can have a lot of energy and so they can move forward or they can stop they can slow down their parts or their flying process so this all at the comparison between the part of the aeroplane and the part of the board so we have done five similarities and we have done five comparison as well as we have lot to know we get to know a lot of the terminologies which are related to both the aeroplane and the boat as well as how boats fly so i hope all of you understood the lecture three on the uh, subject biology for engineers till then be happy and have a great day and thank you for watching now is the good time winners are not afraid of losing please do like share and subscribe to my channel and do press the bell icon for latest videos